Okay, how are we all doing? Welcome to this NLight video leap tutorial. Um, in this um, tutorial, I'm going to show you a nice little, um, a few nice little tricks that you can do with um, with Sky, maybe you know, and and if you want to um, sort of mix some videos together and mess about with the saturation, just to give you a different feel. It's quite a nice, uh, quite a nice effect. So all I've got here is this. Um, Sort of stock footage is basically what I want to do. I want to desaturate the sky and leave the sea blue and the way, or vice versa, it really doesn't matter. So, let me just show you how I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that using masks. And um, first, I'm going to select the clip. So, just remember, as always, when we select the clip, if it's got the white frame around it, it means the clip selected and the tools at the bottom will change accordingly. So, if I deselect it, I have different a different tool set so just be aware of that quite a few people have asked me about that recently so i'm selecting the clip that i want and sorry for those of you that have been doing this a while just bear with me um we'll start it somewhere and i'm going to duplicate um that clip just so after i've duplicated that right i'm then going to press and hold my finger on the um video clip that i've got selected there and i get this view pop up you see the gray box around the top it says drop here to turn into a separate layer so i know a lot of people as well also have this problem is like i'm gone i can't how do i make it a separate layer just drop it into the gray look it it becomes um let me just um repeat that again for you i'm going to select the clip Press and hold my finger and you see the grey bar along the top. Drop it into that area and you get this feel here. I'm just going to re, um, resize that, move that across. So now I've got two video clips exactly the same, right? So the bottom video clip, what I want to do, and I won't see these changes. Um, I want to go to adjust. So I've selected the bottom video clip adjust and then I'm going to go to saturation and drag the saturation down so now I know my bottom video clip is black and white okay so then I'm going to go to the top video clip and I'm going to create a mask um, I'm going to create a linear mask it's already done quite a good job for me I'm just going to create a linear mask on um, on the horizon and I'm just using my fingers to just adjust this and these little arrows like so will make it um, will adjust the um, the saturation levels um, the sort of fade saturation levels should we say and where it fades in and out so if you can see over this back end here I've still got the C that's a little bit blue so I could just drag the anchors in a little bit more to remove that sort of fade feel. So now, if we play through the timeline, we've got quite nicely a different colored sky to our sea. Okay, so that's quite a nice effect in itself. But what we could also do, we could change the color of the sky. We could bring the color back of the sea. So if I go to my bottom, um, bottom layer, and go to my adjust again, and then bring that saturation back up. You see, we're back where we started. If I go to the top layer now, and I adjust this, and I mess about with the saturation here. So I'm adjusting the, the, the blueness, as you can see here, messing about the saturation. I don't wanna mess about the saturation, I wanna look at the vibrance, and I wanna make it a little bit brighter. So the sky now I'm messing with, and then I'm gonna to go to warmth, and I'm gonna make the sky a little bit warmer. Um, so this is quite a nice feel as well. And then we could add a little bit of red in there maybe for a different feel. So we could just have that, that yellow um, warmth type of feel. And this is quite a nice um, feel here. And then we could add that tint, that little bit of red tint. I don't, don't wanna go over the top. You could actually go completely over the top of selected hue and then just go somewhere crazy with it like this. And depending on the colors that you bring in will depend on what that looks like. If I just add a little bit of contrast, or yeah, a little bit of contrast, will brighten it up a little bit. If I take the contrast away, I'll just make the darks a little bit darker. Um, and then I can adjust the exposure just a little bit, just to see the horizon where it, you got that line. I can just bring that up a little bit just to just to offset that and make it look a little bit nicer. Um, and yeah, so there's lots of things that you could do with that. You know, you could change the color of the sea or change the color of the sky, but you see I've completely changed the feel of this um, of this scene just by using masks. 
and using some of the colors or saturation um, so the adjustment tools you could you could even add effects to this if you wanted to make a prism effect you could add a color fi color fire effect um, which would be quite nice it just select the um, sort of individual colors you could um, you could um, keyframe that along so I hope this um, tutorial has give you a few ideas a few creative ideas so if you have any questions or you have any um, ideas for tutorials for me be in any of the light tricks beat leap end light photo leap whatever it is just give me a shout and I'll see what I can do thanks a lot for your time thanks a lot for watching um, hope you all have an awesome day take care and I'll speak to you all soon